Step-by-step -step instructions for making the jelly bean geometry models. Phase 1. Constructing the outer perimeter. Start by cutting out a right triangle diagram. Lightly tape the diagram onto a cardboard base. Be sure the square of the hypotenuse is parallel with the bottom edge of the base. Set aside. Use a yardstick to trace out strips of cardboard. You will need multiple strips. Use a commercial paper cutter or scissors to cut the cardboard strips. Please use extreme caution regarding your fingers near the blade. Here's an example of the strips you will need. Mark a strip of cardboard as shown. Be careful to make a square cut. You can purchase a high temperature glue gun at any home improvement or craft store for a few dollars. Put one drop on either end and one drop in the middle. Place down in the space you marked before glue dries. Continue to mark and glue around perimeter of diagram until there is a cardboard strip on each line segment. Be sure to glue where each strip meets for rigidity's sake. It will look like this when the perimeter is complete. Now remove the paper diagram and discard. Phase 2 Constructing the inner triangle. Begin marking one leg of triangle. Cut so that it is barely snug into the opening. Now cut the second and third legs of the triangle, each being barely snug. Now put a drop of glue on the top of each vertex of inner triangle only. Be careful not to glue the triangle to the perimeter as it will be removable. When dry, carefully pull the triangle out as a whole unit and flip over. Glue the three vertices on the bottom with a drop of glue each. After glue has dried, refit the triangle into the opening. Now pull back out and glue the inside of each vertex. Reinsert triangle and your construction is complete. Now I'll show you how to use the model. Fill the squares off the two legs with one layer of beans. You can also use jelly beans. Remove the inner triangle. Slide the beans down to the bottom square, the square of the hypotenuse. Reinsert the triangle. If it is a right triangle, the beans should completely fill and not overflow the square of the hypotenuse as shown. You can spray paint the model with inexpensive flat spray paint for added aesthetics. Good luck.